When looking for RC products on the web, check out rcdeal.com. This segment is sponsored by rcdeal.com. DJ from Ofna here to show you the GTV2E RTR Electric A-Scale on-road car. Of course, this is the box right here, and this is what you see when you make the purchase. You're going to see the red body, which is the 14286 part number, that is the F-type body. And we also have a second part number, the 14285 CV body, which I'll show you later in this segment. It is a red, white, and black body that comes with it, and they're both nice bodies when you make the purchase. This car comes with a 2500 kV motor and a 150 amp Toro speed control and also a 2.4 gigahertz radio system on there that you can set up a fail safe and if you need to recorrect binding on it, you'll be able to do that. There's also adjustable parameters on the radio itself so you'll be able to get in here and tone and dial out and set up the bind through the dial tones there. All right, so we'll get to the car and we'll show you what comes with the car and the car itself. All right. So this is our car, and of course it is 80% pre-built. It is a long chassis car, of course. We're showing there everything already equipped on the car. You don't have to put anything together. Speed control is already attached. Wiring diagrams already done. Metal sp speed uh, or metal steering servo to come with it. It also comes with the front CVDs and some adjustable tuning options that you'll be able to have for it. Of course, the bag itself is going to show a little bit of hardware in there, the antenna pipe, the binding wire, and the binding plug to come with it, and also the decal sheet that we already have provided for you that says Ofna on it. So this is a little bag that comes with it along with the instruction manual and a couple other small procedures that you'll be able to check on when you get this and opening open the box. Of course, we're going to get to the front of the car, and we're going to show you a lot of the stuff that features to the car. You're going to show a high impact front bumper just in case you have one of those heavy crashes and adjustable ride height uh, or adjustable body uh, mounts on there so if you change bodies from the F type to the CVD for a later purchase you'll be able to adjust those and get those into the right spot. Okay so the front suspension has front CVDs of course you're seeing right there and heavy duty heavy heavy duty nylon thick arms right there of course, they're designed overall for the buggy for the, the high impact and high jumping and also comes onto the on-road. They are long travel suspension arms and they also offer a couple of adjustments there for the shock movement and so on. Of course, the steering suspension itself is a king type suspension. Um, the hub is actually on the outer part of the steering knuckle and the steering knuckle is actually lightweight and they are both composite plastic parts. You're also going to see the turnbuckles themselves. The turnbuckles, they are adjustable. You'll be able to get in there and adjust and tune for camber. And also on the steering linkage itself, there's also one behind the, the camber on the one. Um, you'll be able to adjust the tow out or tow in if necessary for your on-road car. The other thing that the car also offers is sway bars. And the sway bar is shown here on the very front. Of course, you're gonna show it right here down in the middle between the upper deck of the bumper and 16 millimeter shocks to go with that. Uh, sway bars come front and rear on the car, and of course, aluminum shocks that are 16 millimeter will also come on front and rear of the car. Um, they are clip adjusted uh, shocks, so these are not ride height, but you will be able to get those as an option from the pro car. All right, we'll get to the rear of the car and we'll show you what the rear is like. The rear also has a diffuser bumper and that's really keen of course that's usually typical on a modern race car itself it's supposed to help high speed uh, corner steering and of course we try to match that realism to the car itself and it does offer a little bit of corner speed help of course 16 millimeter shocks you're seeing right there and those are a little bit longer in travel for the rear suspension of course same thing they have adjustable ride height clips in there you can adjust the ride height if necessary when you need to. They are oil filled so you can also adjust the viscosity of oil that you need for the right type of track or outdoor use you're trying to go for. Also the car also comes with rear sway bar so you'll be able to do that too. Um, on, the rear, on the rear end of course it has a plastic tow holder but you'll be also to you'll also be able to get an option part um, for it if you need to from the pro car and that is the CNC rear tow plate if necessary. Of course, the part number on this is 60744, 
and that retails for $24.95. We offer several different option parts from the Pro, Pro Car that can go on to the RTR if you need to upgrade, like when you want to, to have that nice little bling to the car. Okay, also the rear end has good thick, thick arms on there, just like the front suspension, and has an oil filled differential on the front and the rear, so you can adjust viscosities on that. The tires themselves you're going to see is hard intermediate tires on there, good for outdoor use, of course, and nylon wheels. They have a V-groove tread pattern on there, and they are nice and firm for a good, good, good overall use of a tire. Shock tires front and rear are made of aluminum and we'll get to the middle of the chassis itself. Of course, you're looking at the middle of the chassis right here and it is a black countersunk 6061 stamp chassis. And in the middle of that, you'll see the spool differential, which is which has the nylon gear for the middle of the car uh, going to the brushless motor. Of course, everything you see here is countersunk on the chassis along with two sets of stone guards on each side of the car. All right. We'll get to the middle of the car, and of course, you're going to see the overall mid section of the car. You're going to see a Toro speed control that you see in the picture right now 150 amp preset Toro speed control, no parameter set on it, so you can't really do anything with it. It is set for 4S. Um, you don't want to push it beyond that. Uh, after that, warranties may become an issue. 2500 kV motor, like I said, in the unit itself, and it comes with Mod 1 pinion gearing. And that is already uh, bolted on and equipped. I always like to check the set, uh, set screws on the pinion gears just because they're pre-oiled up so they don't prevent rusting from shipping. So if anything, one of the major tweaks I would do is take the set screw out, dry it out, clean it up, put a little thread lock, and drop it back on there. Of course, it has two side saddle pack battery setups on there, so you'll be able to put those two 2S's. And of course, my pre-built wiring already is set in here and it already comes with a set of uh, gold-plated high-resistant plugs on there, so you'll be able to plug in and go right away from the very, very get-go. All right, we'll go to the steering servo, of course. You're going to see the steering servo right here, and it is a metal gear steering servo, and it's right underneath the high, high power wires of the brushless motor and speed control that are intertwined with each other. And you're also going to have the receiver box. The receiver box is enclosed with two screws, and you'll be able to get in there and get to the receiver and uh, either set the fail safe or if you have to necessarily set the bind. Here is the antenna wire that's already showing protruding out of the box. All you need to do is put the antenna pipe in there and you're ready to go. All right. The center of the car is driveline based with dog bones. And of course the car is fully equipped with bearings on it. So you can get as much free rolling possibility as you can, of course. Um, the, the brushless motor, of course, it already has a is a bearing loaded too. And we'll show you the body that comes with the car. That is the CV body. As I said in the segment, it is the red, white, and black body. And as we set it on there, you're going to see it has a nice stance, an awesome look to it, and it already looks speedy before you even get it out onto the, to the street or onto the track. So that's what we have, the GTV2E RTR Brushes Electric On-Road A-Scale. Thanks for watching Ofna. This show has been sponsored by RCDeal.com. So remember, RCDeal.com for your RC auction and web store needs. It's RCDeal.com.